This is an Omni Wing made of an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper, some uh, scotch tape, and you get a high performance flying wing in just in a few minutes. Let's go ahead and build one. Some standard 8.5 by 11 printer paper. Start out by folding it in half. Match up the edges carefully and make the crease. Unfold. Now we're going to find the halfway point between the fold and the edge. To do that we could measure but it's simpler just to make a little pinch here. I'm going to fold this over to the center line, make a little pinch. See that's our halfway point. Same on this side. Little pinch. You don't want to fold the whole thing. There's our mark. Now fold the corner down so that this forms a 90 degree. Same thing on this side here. 90 degrees down. Now we're going to fold again. And for those that have folded the Proto Omni Wing or You've seen this step, but what's going to change now is instead of just lining up directly with that center line, we're going to line up at the nose, but going to kick this out a few degrees. From there to there. Make the crease to duplicate the other side to get that same fold. We'll back fold that center line and now we can fold this and just match up the fold so we know we have the same angles going on. Unfold and now we're going to fold this the nose down to these points right here. Just straight down approximately to there. We're going to fold this leading edge back again like we did before. And again, start right at the nose where the center line is. And we're going to have it kicked out a few degrees from the center line. Here's the center line. And this is where we're folding out there. Make the fold. And you'll see we end up with a nice tapered leading edge with this being about a third larger and out here. Do the back fold because we want to duplicate the fold on the other wing half. Line up the edges carefully and make your crease. Unfold and reestablish that top fold again. Okay, the next step will be to establish the twist and washout in the wing. And instead of the, me the crude method that we utilized in the Proto Omni wing, we will use an advanced method for establishing the twist and washout in the wing so that it will have the stability that is needed for a flying wing. As you can see, I'm rotating and twisting here. And what I can do then is by applying my tape while I'm rotating and twisting, I will get a positive uh, angle of incidence out on the tip. I'm going to start at the nose pressing the tape while twisting light pressure. And now if you look and see what we've got, the twist in the wing is being held in place by the tape. I'm going to do the same thing to the other wing half. And this will take a lot of trials. It's a, it's a, it's an interesting technique to learn. But once you've got it, uh, it makes for a wonderful flying wing. Putting the twist in and applying the tape down. Now you can see that. Okay, we're going to cut away about half of the uh, 
excess paper on here. So fold the wing in half, match it up, and about one half the length from here to there, and one half the length from here to there is going to be our cut line. Approximately. This can vary and you'll want to try some different different ways to do this once you get a uh, some success with making a flying omni wing. There's our wing, here's our excess paper. We're going to use this excess paper now to create some structural strength and clean up the aerodynamics. I'm going to cut about an inch back from the fold to create the first structural member. Unfold it and then fold one half to the center line, the other half to the center line, and then fold it in half. Now we have a four folded structure that will serve as the structural center keel of this wing. And that's where we're going to tape it, right in the middle. You want to line it right up in the middle of that center line. And then we'll apply tape on either side to hold that in place. And this creates some good rigidity for the cord span there. Next we'll take these two halves here, situate them like this. <clears throat> now we're going to fold this down just so that the edges match up there like that. Same with this one. Like that. These will get applied to the front of the uh, uh, leading edge of the airplane. Place some tape on the folded half with half the tape sticking out. And then we will apply it to the wing. Adjust this until it lines up with the front of the leading edge. And then wrap the tape over. And that is in place. And we're going to tap, tape the back half of that piece down. Tape on the back half of the surface there. And then again, we don't want to just press this down because it, it will take out your twist that you established. Instead, pick the wing up and starting from the center, we want to be careful and be following that twist as we uh, apply that. Same thing with this side here. Tape on the front half. Line it up. And we've got a little bit of excess tape there. We'll just trim it away. And all we got to do tape the back portion down. Careful not to take the twist out. Fold any excess tape over. And add a little bit extra on the nose here just to clean it up. And we have an Omni Wing ready to fly. And usually it'll fly right off the drawing board without any tuning. Let's give it a toss. And that's a good flight.